How do we find out more, especially about the costs, the cost benefit to going to the green bins and how that would work? Well, if you look at every community around us, they do it and we don't. Okay. So either they're all doing something correct or they're all wrong and we're correct, which I don't think is. A, so we don't, we don't qualify for DEP grants because we don't have trash limits. Because we don't have what? Trash limits. What does that mean? Pay as you throw uh, one bin per household. Um, I mean, going to the green bins is not just go to the green bins and you get 20, it's you get one. Um, you know, and you have to, we'd have to meet with DEP and other towns and figure out what the right thing is. Um, you know, what do you do about two family houses? Yes, they'd each get two. Um, so when, I, when, would you, when would you roll out a program like this? Would it be in the fall? Would it be in the spring? So I'd how want to do time, it in the- Excuse me, how much time would you need to, how much lead time? Six months to a year to let everyone know what's going on. Um, we'd have to look at everything from after you do that, what do you allow for your, uh, you know, we could still pick up white goods, but for bigger bulk items, um, you know, do you start charging fees on those? Do you, and how do you manage that? Um, with all this stuff becomes that you will need more, a larger recycling and trash department. Do you think division. if we were to go that route, we would have to add more personnel, or do you think that it yeah, could I did. be Yeah, Sarah can't do it all. Well, I mean, that. would, you wouldn't have to, would you have to add an equivalent uh, of her uh, salary and, and benefits, or would you have to have? No, add I mean, we had, no, we were looking at someone to assist her to manage all the phone calls and mm -hmm. setting up appointments. You know, and when she's out, like, then you have no of one. Of course. Um, but, of course. Yeah, I think you would need, and then it's it's at some point you name may need more inspectors for what people are throwing. And, and out. That was just going to bring me to my next question. So last week we went to a retirement for um, a member of your staff who um, has been the traditionally been the um, the inspector and enforcer for um, trash throughout the city. Um, is there a plan to replace that person fairly quickly? Uh, possibly. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Um, when you were before that committee, we talked about trash enforcement, and there is a current trash ordinance, and um, you just talked about it a minute ago. How are you doing with that trash enforcement in terms of, um, you know, getting people to start put trash in barrels with lids? So I think it was good until about two days ago when Ron retired, and now we're... Oh. <laughs> Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, Ron was out there, he had switched going from putting trash out early, um, to concentrating on people that weren't using barrels. Yeah. Um, so I don't. So the plan is to still continue to do that, but you have to fill the position or pivot yep. someone in the, in the department. But we, we know if we don't work on the trash piece, the, the wrap piece is, um, it is going to continue to be where it's at. So the plan is to right. continue to do that, right? Or you go to carts and then you don't have to worry about people putting them in their own barrels because right. they're given a barrel. Right, but that's like, we just talked about that. I, I, I want to be able to get through the summer. And, yes, you know, we have future, 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 right? We'll always talk about the future here and dream a little dream. But um, I want to just make sure that that, that enforcement is continuing and you do have a plan for that. Yeah, I'll just say this. I know future, future. But if it doesn't happen, like the issue is never going to go away. We can't enforce people to do things they don't want to do. And when if there aren't barrels that they're given with covers, yeah. the problem is never going to end. You're Terms giving them the option, yeah. like, here, you don't have an option. This is what you need to use. This will keep the rats away. Other cities are blaming us because they have those carts. We don't. So until that changes, that's, that's your answer. We're fighting an uphill battle. Yeah, but there's an answer. I hear you. 